Hello Magic Community on YouTube, I'm T1 Glistenrelf, here with a quick little response to a Reddit thread that I saw that I thought was interesting. It was, if you remember, what was the first creature you ever played in your first game of Magic? And since I actually remember mine, I thought that I'd say what it was. So I started playing Magic back in high school, around the cafeteria table with some friends. We all used to play Yu-Gi-Oh! and some of us brought in, not me, not first, brought in Magic cards. Well, lo and behold, I ended up playing with them, but at first, my parents wouldn't let me play, they wouldn't let me play Yu-Gi-Oh! either, but they wouldn't let me play Magic the Gathering, and so I couldn't end up getting my own cards. I borrowed a friend's deck. Uh, they thought that it was harmful, or uh, they had religious reasons against it. You know, they were, they were the parents that also thought Harry Potter was of the devil, and Yu-Gi-Oh!, and Pokémon. Yes, Pokémon. Not Star Wars, though, for some reason. Anyway, anyway, <laughs> I know why, it's because they grew up with it, but uh, the first deck that I played after watching them play for a bit was this mono green pile. It, it loosely elves, there were a fair number of elves, but it was really just whatever cards everyone had. And the first creature that I cast was a turn two leaf gilder. Now, that's that's my Lanamar elf, I suppose. That was well, I saw the number one response in that was revised Lanamar elves. Someone else said unlimited Lanamar elves. And Lanamar elves is popular on that, and this was, I guess, my Lanamar elves for a, a slightly more modern player. We also did not understand the rules at the time. We didn't know how making mana worked uh, for non-lands, <laughs> which sounds silly, but that does mean you know there's the joke. We thought that Lanamar Elves got a forest out of our deck. Well, we actually thought Leaf Gilder did that. That it didn't, that it got forest out of our decks, which makes the one mana Shadow Moor uh, pay one, get black or red uh, out of, and you can do this up to three times per turn, whatever that card is. That made that a ludicrously powerful card in our meta. That card was vintage worthy in our meta because we didn't understand that. Uh, and I still, I'm still a green mage. I wonder if that's why. The more I think about it, the more I r realize that could very well be. Just a matter of sentimentality. I like to think that it's because I like the flexibility of green, and I like the game plan. It can be simple, or it can be complex, and it works well with other colors really well. But it may just be that I got started playing green way, way back in the day. Uh, so anyway, that's mine, and I'm curious to know what your first creature was. If you happen to remember what yours was, yeah, there's the Reddit thread, and go answer there, but also answer in the comments below. And if you have any more of these random <laughs> discussion videos that I can go over, let me know. I'm, I'm looking for ideas. You may have noticed I uh, don't record at the LGS too much, and there's a reason for that. Unfortunately, it's because I don't get a chance to go over too often. Um, hopefully that'll change before too long, but in the meantime, that's why we have more gameplay videos with uh, Matt, uh, my good friend who's been playing Legacy and Vintage and Modern with me, and a bit of Standard. Uh, it's why you're finding more of these discussion videos, more baby videos, hopefully more meme videos coming before too long. Um, but if you have any ideas, let me know. And uh, <laughs> I'm trying my hardest to not put just gameplay on my channel. <laughs> yeah, this there's gameplay going on here, and this is an absolutely silly scene that you're watching. Um, but at least this isn't a magic discussion video. Um, but if you're curious, if you're interested in seeing just the gameplay itself for Smash Bros or some other games I've been getting into lately, like Project M or F-Zero GX, which is sort of the melee of racing games, or Dark Souls, which admittedly has been done to death by a lot of people, but it, it is one of my favorite game series. Uh, then let me know. Alright, that's it Magic Community. Take care, and I will see you all later. Bye bye